morning diesel. Let's go outside. Good morning, everybody. It's a little cold out at night still. Went down to minus 17 Celsius tonight. Whew. Thought it was spring. Morning, Frank. Chevy. What's all this baby stuff doing in here? Oh my. Is there a baby coming? Oh yeah, stretch it out. Get ready. You'll be here any day. True. Right, Wiener? Any day now. Though he is scheduled for one week from today on the C-section. But he might be early. This stuff is just everywhere right now. Because last night or yesterday, I decided to paint our bedroom. Yet. So everything I just sort of be stacked out here for a bit. Enjoy. You're next, Chevy. Come on. This is how the room turned out. I really wanted to get this done before the baby arrived because now I can you know, move all of our stuff, our bed, into the other room. We can sleep in there. But once the baby's here, it'll be much harder to get these things done. I'll show you where we were sleeping for now. This is the hide -a bed that we bought. And all I really did was pull it out, brought our mattress from our room, put it on here, and sort of turned this into our temporary bedroom. And this is the nursery that we had finished. Just recently, actually, I got this thing painted a week ago. 
We're just waiting for his nameplate up there yet. And a few other pieces of artwork, but other than that, I'm going to clean this all up now, get it back to the way it should be so it's ready for him. And get this room cleaned up. Oh, get it, get it, get it. That's the spot. That's the spot with this one. This one's this one itchy too. Oh, yeah, it is. It, I knew it. I knew it. Hey, Chef. You want to help me? You want to help me clean up the bedroom? There's lots to do in there. We painted it. Have you seen it yet? It's a beautiful shade of gray. I know you can't see the actual color. <laughs> or maybe you can. Who knows? What are you, Frank? No? No one wants to help? You can do it yourself. I'm old. Look at me. Guess how old I am. I don't know. How old? I don't even know. I, I thought yeah, I was hoping you knew. All right, let's go and take care of this. Diesel, don't even ask me. I'm heaping and I'm old. I'm a senior household here. All of this mess is my fault. All of this stuff is out here because I was doing the room yesterday. What do you think, Wiener? Come here. What do you think? You like it? What's most important is, do you like it? I love it. Very fresh. We needed some color in this house. Get this all slapped together again. It'll look like a bedroom. Yeah. Get everything organized. Finally have closet doors that match completely. That aren't striped like an angry zebra. Yeah. The last people who we bought the house from had tried to fix a few scrapes, I guess, or paint things. And they tried to paint match and it was such a bad paint match. Clearly they went to Walmart. <laughs> like not bent anymore. And then they just painted just over the scratch. Yeah. Not the whole door. How are you feeling about it being one week till the baby's here? I'm ready for it to be one day. Yeah. At this point, I'm very uncomfortable, very sore, feeling sick all the time, not sleeping. I'm ready, I'm ready to meet our little guy instead of just housing him. <laughs> It is from Tara Middleton in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Got your package. I'll open it at home with Britt when I get back. I'm just out right now running a few errands. Really windy day out there today. Crazy windy. But they say that's a sign of spring. So okay, I'll take it. going on, old blue? You didn't think I forgot about you, did you? Don't be silly. Still got a lot of cleaning up to do in the shop here, but a lot to do at home too. It's hard to keep up with everything. I have these two weeks before baby arrives, and uh, I thought I'd have lots of time to get everything I need to get done done.
but it seems like the stuff I need to get done has been building up over time. And it was a little bit bigger of a pile than I thought it was. But that's okay. We don't have to get it all done. I would just like to. I'm here at the shop right now. I'm, I'm missing a part uh, for my computer. For some reason, my computer doesn't have an, like a, an SD card slot built into it. I thought that most computers nowadays had that. I bought this computer not even thinking about it. And now I need to put like a full-size SD card into it. And there's no slot for it. So I have a, an adapter in my truck here somewhere. I had to come here and figure it out so I can get my clips on on my computer. It's always something, right? How you been, old blue? You doing good? Yeah. Let's see if I can find this piece in here or not. Mmm. Oh. Love that smell. Smell of the truck. It smells good, actually. This truck always smells good. If your truck doesn't smell good, there's something wrong. Fix it. At least I'm pretty sure that I put it in here. I never really use it because usually I just connect my camera right to uh, right to the computer. But I have a new camera now, so I've got to get my files onto my computer a little bit of a different way. I don't know where I put that, that piece because it's not at home, so it's got to be here somewhere. Can't find it. You hear that squeaking though? It's underneath my sleeper that's getting fixed this week. Or well, next week, in the next couple of days. Gotta keep up with it. It's an old truck, but uh, the payments never quite go away because the payments just turn into repairs. But that's okay. I'd rather have that. Alright, Old Blue, I gotta head home. I don't know where my part is. I I wonder if I took it out of here. Like, I don't usually use it, like I said, so. I know I saw it. It'll turn up somewhere. And when it does, I'll probably be like, oh, right where I left it. I think I have my old one in here. Or maybe I put the new one in here too, who knows? No, I saw the old one. Ah, ah, ah! This is the old one. I mean, it'll work. I need a slot for this guy right here, you see? Takes a little bit of a different setup. My whole setup has sort of changed now. You might have noticed uh, of a different camera and such. So I'm getting used to it. And the vlogs will stay the same somewhat, but I'm gonna have to shoot them a little bit differently. The camera I have now is a Sony a7C. It has a uh, nice microphone above it there as well. It should really uh, boost the quality of my videos. Obviously you can see this shot is pretty good, but it's a little bit more bulky than the GoPros. I usually like have these little GoPros in my pocket everywhere I go now, right? This camera can't quite fit in my pocket, but that doesn't matter. We'll figure it out. All right, I will be back soon, old boy. You take care. All right, you stay out of trouble. I mean it. I don't want any phone calls telling me to come get you because you're in trouble, okay? All right, let's see what got sent in here. We got a package from Tara Middleton in Saskatoon. Mm hmm I had to pre-open the box because it was a nightmare to get open. They really glue these things really, really well. Let's see. Oh, little summer onesies. That's good. I actually don't have any summer onesies yet. Oh, that's a little set. A little bear. Oh, you should see this kid's wardrobe already. That's in case he gets chunky. That's <laughs> a big one, eh? Oh, uh, it's a chunky one. <laughs> On his little peanut. <laughs> oh, chunky peanut. Chunky peanut. And a card in 
the proper color. This is your favorite color. It is. Teal. That's right. You've been paying attention. <laughs> Bundle of joy. It says, the softest little cuddles and the sweetest dreams come true. The warmest hugs and love to share your baby boy and you. Congratulations. Thanks, Thank you. Tara. Thank you very much. And these will be put to very good use, believe Absolutely. me. Absolutely. <laughs> he's got lots of clothes already, though. I think he's got more than both of us combined. And that's shameful, because I worked in a clothing store. <laughs> <laughs> I had quite the wardrobe before we saw our little man's wardrobe. And it just keeps growing. <laughs> that's nice. Nice color. We'll go put that on the bookshelf with the others. Very nice, thank you. Very soon. Yes. Her and stomach is just hard. Like it's... It's awful. It's ready to pop. I feel like I could just go... And go... There's a baby come flying out into my arms. It feels like that's what's going to happen some days. Okay. Yep. Seven days left. Just keep <sighs> cooking for seven days, buddy. Yeah. Maybe drop a little lower even. Although that doesn't feel good either. So He's both dropped and up high. He's a big baby in that tiny stomach. Yeah, the doctor said he's like, could be up to 7 pounds, 6 ounces already. Between yeah. 6 and 7 pounds, 6 ounces. Yeah. He's a big boy in there. Yeah, but he's me measuring perfectly average on every level. So. That's awesome. Yeah. At this time, next week, on this day... You'll be holding our little baby boy. Or maybe I'll be holding him. I'll be hogging him the whole time. That's fine. I've been hogging him for nine months. That's exactly what I was thinking. You've been hogging him. It's mine now. I mean, I get a little bit take of skin, skin time. You better not run with me. <laughs> I'll grab some formula and just run. <laughs> He's mine! <laughs>